All right, so welcome back everyone. Happy New Year. Today, another cool product to show you. I told you guys I'm bringing new tech for 2020. Today we're taking a look at a robotic vacuum cleaner and this is from Amory. Now this is the A980 and this has a ton of features guys. So one of the main features of this vacuum cleaner is the intelligent mapping system. So this makes it for an efficient cleaning path guys. So what happens is after your first self cleaning, it will actually build a map of your house. And that way when you run it over and over, you have the option to clean certain areas and it just makes for a more efficient cleaning. So this is pretty cool. The height on this is actually 2.95 inches. So it will fit onto your couches, onto your bed without getting stuck. And this comes with a three layer filtration system so it does come with a filter a sponge filter and a HEPA filter and this can uh, effectively remove 99.97 percent of dust as small as 0.3 microns however small that is with the 1600 pa ultra sucking power guys it's also strong enough to remove dirt pollen food crumbs human hair pet hair from your floor and keep your house pretty clean. Now the A980 does come with a 2600 milliamp hour battery. On one charge you can get about 110-120 minutes uh, working time and about a uh, 1400 square feet cleaning area. Of course when it's out of battery it will automatically dock into the docking station. Now one of the key features and I'm going to demo this as well is the anti-drop and anti-collision. So basically if it sees a wall in front of you, we'll go ahead and just stop and just take another path. Or if you have stairs in your house and you upstairs, for instance, and it's running to the edge of the stair, it does have some sensors on the bottom that will make it stop and turn around and not go down the stairs, which is a key feature. If you're spending a couple hundred dollars on a vacuum cleaner, you don't want to lose it down the stairs during the first run. So the smart app, like I said before, we're going to get into that in a little bit. You can set up up to four different cleaning modes and we'll go over that when we get to the app section. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. All right, so a lot of pad in here to effectively make a safe trip. That way you won't get damaged in the way. Some instructional booklets, warranty information. Here's the main uh, manual for this. Of course, this is gonna come in. It's gonna come in very handy, guys. Want to go ahead and read through this? It's gonna go through everything you need to know. What everything is on this system, guys. So definitely worth a read. Goes over the remote control, which I'll be going over in a little bit. Four um, brushes, and um, these connect underneath. Essentially, you'll only need two, but you do have two spares. They also included an extra filter guys now one filter should be in the vacuum already but they did go ahead and include a second one so on the remote control we have the home button this will bring the vacuum back to the charging station we have the edge cleaning so exactly what it says it'll clean around the edges along your walls it does have the spot cleaning right here as well these are the directional so you can actually point at the vacuum or point in the direction and you can say go forward go to the right go to the left go back and you do have the play pause button will essentially just pause it or stop it in its track to the left we have our auto and we do have our fan or suction power right here in the right so a handy little uh, cleaning tool guys have a spike right here we can go in get in the bristles and kind of get some of that junk out of there this is the charging station guys so with this all you want to do is put it up against the wall like this flush against the wall you want to have about six feet in front of it about three feet to the side that way the vacuum won't run into any issues when it's um actually heading home two metal contacts right here that needs that the vacuum needs to actually touch and then it'll go ahead and start charging all right so has some cable management in the back let's go ahead and get that set up and it does have some space guys if you wanted to put some cables in here or something you have it close to an outlet you can go ahead and route some cable in here and then with this you can kind of set it up kind of set it up like this to where all the cables are counted for and then you just have a nice neat charging area so pretty cool before we get to the vacuum this is actually your boundaries so this is actually an IR receiver, IR sensor. So the front of the vacuum has a bunch of IR uh, blasters, guys. And when it kind of sees this, it'll know that, hey, I need to turn around. I don't need to go in here. So if you guys have a certain area you want to block off, maybe have pets or maybe have uh, wires or something that you don't want the vacuum cleaner to go, you can go ahead 
and use this to, to block it off. Things I'll never think I'll say on this channel. This is a beautiful uh, looking vacuum cleaner. So on the top, does have a tempered glass, does have uh, some carbon fiber effect, which is pretty cool. Big power button right here, can't miss it. We have a camera right there, and uh, what that will do is help with the mapping of your house, guys. So when it does a smart clean, it'll go ahead and map the house. That way, it's more efficient when it cleans the next time. In the middle, you do have a Wi-Fi indicator. So big blue strip is saying initial use. Switch on the power button on the bottom, and it goes all the way around, and it has the power button right here. So this is the main cut on and off switch, guys. So let me go ahead and peel this off. Let's go ahead and pull these guys out. It's just styrofoam. On the front, this is uh, loaded with IR sensors, guys, IR blasters. And it goes almost all the way around. So it's from here to here. So you can see it has different points, guys. There's a point right here, one right here in the front, and one right here on the side. So essentially it'll sense where it's bumping, and then it'll know to go to the opposite direction. Two charging contacts right here, big swivel wheel in the front. Here's your drop sensor right here up top. So if this is hanging off the edge, the vacuum cleaner will turn around and pick a different direction. Two rugged wheels, guys. You can see how much they're sticking out, but uh, very essential. That means when it goes underneath something, guys, it does have some room to kind of give, and that way it can make its way back out. Very cool that they included a combo brush, guys. It does have the bristle, it does have the rubber, and that will make sure that it picks up not only dirt, but also very good on your pet hairs. This is how you remove the tray, guys, in the back. All right. So it tells you how to empty it. Essentially, the filter is back here. All right. So they did provide two of these. And when the vacuum gets filled, guys, you just kind of pull this out. And then you can go ahead and just shake out the junk out of it. Mary's ready. Let's turn it on on the table. Start auto. Oh, pause. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see if we can turn it around. So, it's a remote in full effect. I can move it forward. As far as the bristles itself, pretty easy to put on. Just line it up right here on the outside. I am suspended in the air. You can see this thing's pretty smart. I am suspended. Wow. <laughs> I am suspended in the air. <laughs> All right, it's <laughs> good, and we'll just start it for a little bit. Paused. Paused. All right. So while the vacuum is charging, you will see that it has a purple indicator, as you see now. Now, when it's ready, fully charged, it will turn solid blue, and um, that's just an indication that uh, it's ready to go. You can check it in the app. It will tell you that the battery is at 100%. Uh, using the remote control is pretty straightforward. You hit the play pause button to start it. Start it will go into auto clean. And it will start methodically plotting this course, guys. This is uh, this vacuum cleaner does not go uh, random places. What it does, it takes its time to actually plot out where it's going, uh, going back and forth, back and forth till it fills that space. Then it will go ahead, turn around, go to the next space, and that's just making sure that everything in that area is captured as far as surface space for it to vacuum. So when it hits a corner or comes close to an edge, you can see the sensors picks it up right away, guys. It will go ahead and turn around and it will just start mapping other areas, getting as close to the corner as it can, um, just to give you the best cleaning. Now, while this is going on, you can go ahead and pull out the app. You can kind of see the area that it's in and see how filled out that map is. So here's a good example of how this vacuum operates methodically, guys. So I'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit, but you can see it goes up, finds the stop, goes over a little bit, turns around, and then keep going to the next row. There's an obstacle there. We'll go ahead and recognize that, go back up. Turn again and just keep going until that entire area is covered. 
So no issues going on the bed or couches, going from carpet to tile or different services, guys. Uh, not only is this a low profile vacuum, but if it runs into an area with a tight space, it will go ahead and just keep tugging and the spring on the two wheels will go ahead and just compress until it can get out of that situation. So as far as the strips that came with the system, this is probably a good area that I could have utilized it. Want to be careful around wires. You can see next to the, the Christmas ornaments, there's wires uh, coming out from that. And that's a prime example of an area that you probably want to go ahead and use the blockers or the strips to, to kind of keep the vacuum out of that area. So I did go ahead and put down some syrup, put down some goldfish just to see how this will um, essentially uh, pick everything up. You can see it left a few residues there, but what I found is that over time with the back and forth guys, it eventually picked everything up and you'll see that when I go ahead and empty the bin. It does make its way back, kind of flipping stuff around, but it will eventually pick all that up. As far as the drop sensor, the drop sensor works pretty well. So I started the vacuum right there. You can see it turned around. Immediately noticed that there's nothing underneath. So went ahead and turned back around. And it will keep going just to get that area covered. But every time it comes to the edge, guys, you can see it kind of stops, turn, notices, hey, there's a drop right here. And just keep going just to avoid falling down the stairs. Like I said, this is uh, very responsive. Uh, no um, issues putting this where stairs are located because full confidence that this will notice the edges and uh, go ahead and correct this route when it detects that there's stairs or a drop off. Now the runtime was pretty accurate as described in the product description. We're getting about 110 to 120 minutes and cool thing about the application, it will tell you what percentage your battery is on and it will also tell you how long the system has been running. Now once it reaches 10%, it will announce that its battery is running low and it will start making its way back home to the charger to recharge itself. One of the coolest features of this vacuum. And I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what uh, it picked up during the first run. Uh, floor wasn't extremely dirty, but remember that I did put down some goldfish and some uh, cereal. And you can just see the gunk and dirt that was picked up in the first run. But seems to be doing its job. Tray's pretty easy to open, empty without um, getting your hands dirty. And um, and very pleased with the performance of this vacuum so far. All right, so let's go ahead and launch the application Airmary Pro. And first you'll see an overview of all the devices that you have, guys. You can see the vacuums right here. It's online at 100%. To get into this particular vacuum, let's click on the icon. At the bottom, if you want to start cleaning, you can go ahead and just click on the clean. Uh, next to that, you have the smart map. We're going to take a look at it in a little bit. If you want to send your vacuum home, hit the dock. And if you hit on more, you get a couple more options. So you do have the option to choose the suction or the fan speed. You can choose edge cleaning. You can choose spot cleaning. And for certain models, if you have a wet or water in your system, you can go ahead and select that as well. At the top in your settings, you can set up a clean schedule. Pretty nifty, guys. Uh, you can see I have one right here where it goes around at 05 at 5 o'clock in the morning. Start cleaning there. You can adjust the volume of the system. You can view your cleaning history. Find your device. You can um, open the remote control. So basically just a couple buttons where you can move it around. You do have third party control. Uh, the option for a firmware update, you do have your device information. So what's cool about this is when you run the vacuum for the first time and every time you run the vacuum, it kind of maps out the area. But the first time you run it, guys, it creates a smart interactive map. You can see right there it's going and as it's going, it kind of just map out the area. And once that map is complete, once the first clean is completed, you can go ahead and do some cool things. So let me go ahead and click on the smart map. And this is basically a layout of my downstairs um, area, guys. So, so all this was blue before, and I did go ahead and add uh, certain spaces to it. And I left one open just to show you guys how to add it in a little bit. So to add it, you're going to click Edit. All right, you can see everything's already accounted for except for this blue space right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Define Areas. I'm just going to name this my bathroom. I click done and you can see it gives you a square right here that you can't adjust. So I'm just going to move it here for a second. Let me zoom in and I'm just going to make a nice square area out of this. So this is my downstairs bathroom, guys. Um, don't worry about the different notches, the areas that it didn't touch. Um, sometimes when you have stuff in the corner, the toilets in there, for instance, the sink, there's a step in there. So we'll go ahead and just vacuum around it. So don't worry about it. Uh, let me hit save and you can see I have my downstairs area mapped out guys. So towards the left, I do have my formal dining 
Then I have a wall right here in the middle. Then next I have my living room and my dining room, bathroom. I have the laundry room right there. Next, I have the kitchen. This space right here is essentially the counter and I do have the pantry. So what's cool about this is that I can actually send it to any area, defined area that I want and it will clean that area. And I can essentially give it tasks for it to go clean. So for instance, if I wanted to clean my laundry room, I'll go ahead and I'll just go room. I'll go ahead and click on the dot right there. And you can select multiple as well. So uh, for this one, I'm just gonna, um, Select the laundry room, I'm gonna click start, and now it will go to those specific rooms and clean those rooms, and when it's done, it will go to the charging station. So that's it for this video, guys. Big shout out to Mary for sending this vacuum for me to review. Once again, this is the A980 robotic vacuum cleaner with the vision mapping camera system. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. Currently it's on Amazon for $349, but I will be reaching out to see if I can get a coupon code to save you guys a couple bucks on this purchase that's it for this video smash a thumbs up thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next one